Hello, welcome to my HTML tutorial for beginners series. In our last episode, we learned how to insert video content onto our web page. In this exact episode, we're going to learn how to insert audio content, just like the one you are seeing on screen, onto your web page. There are times you would want to insert audio onto your web page for some reasons. And so this video is going to teach you how to do that step by step. Right now, this is an audio content I've inserted onto my web page. And user can click on this play button to play this audio. Users can slide this, okay? And users can mute and unmute. Users can click on these three dots and then increase the play speed. If you are ready, I'm ready. Let's see how we can insert an audio content onto our web page. Here I have my HTML document opened. Inside our opening and closing of body, we need to enter a special tag for audio, which is less than audio. and then greater than to close or to end the tag okay now inside the beginning tag we need to specify the path to our file inside the beginning tag of audio we need to specify where our file is located to do so you need to enter src equal to quotation and then you specify your files location okay so put audio forward slash and then you enter the name of your audio file in my case my file is bgmusic.mp3 good now let's go to our web browser and see what is happening this is my web browser when we reload this page nothing happens this is because we have not specified any control let me take you back to the code editor and show you what i'm talking about good so we have the path to our audio file but we need controls in order for the file to display or render on web browser so there's yet another property or attribute we need to specify inside our opening tab of head, which is controls. Okay, so controls like this. Now, let's go back to our web browser and then reload this page. And as you can see, our audio file is displaying. This is because we have added controls. Now a user can click on play, reduce the volume, okay? Or even increase the playback speed of this audio file or this music, okay? Let's look at some additional audio attributes we can use to improve our audio content. Let's go back to our code editor. Now inside the opening tag, enter muted, okay? So muted, and this specific attribute will go ahead and mute our audio. So we we'll go back to our browser, reload, and you can see after reloading, our audio is on mute. You can see that? There's yet another attribute I want to talk to you about, which is looping. So put loop. Let's go back to our web browser. Reload. And then let's click on the play button. Now, after this video finishes playing, it will start 
all over and that is looping some browsers don't support looping some do okay there's yet another attribute i want to talk to you about and so we have to go back to our code editor and enter autoplay so auto play now a browser like opera mini does not support auto play okay so let's say our web browser is not able or does not support our music format you know music or audio files come in different format we have mp3 wave okay dot wave dot mp3 so music come in different format and let's say our web browser doesn't support it how do we solve that let's go ahead and write our code to help our web browser navigate through it okay so we first of all write our or enter our tag for audio which will of course live inside our body tag opening and closing so less than audio and then we close it now let's open our audio okay so let's give some room like this first of all we need to specify our controls so put controls controls like this now if you want your music to be on mute you just put muted you can also put loop just like what we did previously good so these are our controls now inside here we need to specify our path to our audio okay so we're going to be linking multiple audio files okay the browser will go ahead and go through our audio files to pick the one that it supports so that's what we're going to be doing and after that we say bye bye to this video so we first of all enter our first link so less than and then we'll put source like this put another source which is src equal to now specify where your first file is located in my case it's inside a folder called audio and inside audio i have a file called bg music so put audio forward slash bg music now let's close it like this let's go ahead and enter our second path which is source now we put src equal to let's specify our second path where can you find that second audio file in my case it's inside my audio folder so audio forward slash and we pick our second audio format or audio file and then we close it after that we come down and put our text so let's enter some text this audio is not supported okay so let's just do that supported on on this browser so this exact text will only render whenever our audio files are not in support with the browser okay good so that is how we solve that problem so these are some attributes we can apply to our audio file when we are writing our code I hope this training has been informative. I will see you in my next lecture. Take care.